Hey guys, XTarticX here. Uh, I wanted to show you one of my newest collectibles that just came in the mail recently. And this is from Takara Tomy Arts. It's for the 25th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda. And it's a 16 pin set that has the covers for all the games in the series. The Japanese covers, of course. And unfortunately, just uh, I guess the, the timing wise where it came out, the last game on here is the Ocarina of Time 3DS remake. Um, so no Skyward Sword, which is unfortunate. I'm playing Skyward Sword now. I'm uh, trying to take my time to it, through it so I don't uh, rush, but I'm really enjoying it. It's probably my favorite Zelda game since Wind Waker. So uh, let me show you these pins. Let me show you in some kind, try to show you in some kind of order. So here is the original disc system, Famicom disc system for The Legend of Zelda. I have a flyer of that. I'm gonna try to put these on here without knocking anything over. Let's see. And here is the Adventure of Link again, the Famicom Disk System. Disk System. I can't say that. And here we have uh, a link to the past. I have this game uh, box and card autographed by Shigeru Miyamoto. It's one of my prize collectibles. Here is one of my favorite in the series, uh, Link's Awakening. Um, now the Link's Awakening DX, the uh, the Game Boy Color version, is actually a different cover, but I'm glad they went with the original. That's how it should be. And everyone's favorite, here's Ocarina of Time, which has really cool cover art, black and gray. It's pretty sweet. Nintendo 64, of course. I shouldn't have to tell you guys that. You guys know all this. You guys are probably going to correct me on something I say today. Here you go, Majora's Mask. Let's show you if we can do this so you don't get the reflection of the camera. It even has the little advertisement for the expansion pack that was required. The memory expansion for the Nintendo 64. Here we have Oracle of Ages. No, that's Oracle of Seasons. Before you come and correct me. Uh, Oracle of Ages and Seasons are, are actually my least two and the least two favorite in the series. There's something about them, they just didn't feel like a right Zelda game to me. I think they're actually made by Capcom or something. And just published by Nintendo. Here we go. There's Oracle of Ages. Game Boy Color. I remember buying that brand new GameStop. Buying both games at once. My friend thought it was crazy for buying two, two Zelda games at the same time. He thought they were the same game. Here we go. Wind Waker. Another favorite. The only... Uh, no, not the only, but the first... Zelda game on the GameCube. Now here's uh, an interesting one. This is Game Boy Advance. This is the... Uh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank here. A Link to the Past with Four Swords. That's the Four Swords that was recently released by Nintendo for free for anyone who has a DSi, DSi XL, or a 3DS. I have a 3DS. If you want my friend code, send me a PM. Here is the, the full Four Swords adventure game for the GameCube. It has the advertisement for the uh, Link Cable. So you can use your Game Boy Advance. That's a fun game. This is a pretty big set, I love it. Um, here's Minish Cap. Fantastic portable Zelda. Fantastic game. Kind of brought back the old, uh, like, you know, uh, like 16-bit feel, but it had more of, almost like a Wind Waker style uh, animation, like a uh, Sprites, it's really cool. Twilight Princess. I remember buying this with my Wii at launch. Being very excited about it. It's a cool cover. That's gonna fall down. Alright. Here is Phantom Hourglass, which I think is a fantastic game. A lot of people don't like this game, but some people don't like the boats, but I like it. Get two more. Here is Spirit Tracks. Now, here comes a confession. I have never finished this game. Really didn't like it that much. Um, I will go back eventually. I'm pretty deep into it, so I might have to start over so I know what's going on. But just I just thought the train stuff was so frustrating. But nonetheless, this is one of the only Zelda games where I think that the U.S. got better cover art than Japan. I don't know, just personal preference. And last but not least, the Ocarina of Time uh, 3D. Uh, very cool game, of course. Uh, I played through this twice already. I beat the Master Quest mode on my 3DS. 
And uh, this is definitely the best 3DS game out there right now. There you go. So I just wanted to show you the uh, 25th anniversary Legend of Zelda pin set. And we'll go through each one again. Unfortunately, there's no Skyward Sword. I really wish Skyward Sword was in here. It has a cool cover, and it's a great game so far. So, so thanks for watching, guys. And a little spoiler, but my next video will have something to do with this game. The one I don't even like that much. And we're blurry. There you go. Alright guys, until next time, thanks for watching.